Here's a simple thought experiment. Think about two scenarios. In one scenario, we see a baby that is raised by parents who regularly talk to it. In another scenario, we see a baby that is raised by parents who never talk to it. They do everything else such as feeding it, changing its diapers, and even hug it for that emotional skin-to-skin -skin contact, but they never talk to it. But instead, they turn on the television to make up for the lack of human interaction so that the baby can hear, watch, and learn. Now let's fast forward a couple of years to when both the babies reached the age of seven. So the question is, in which of these two scenarios will the baby be likely to talk? If you answer the baby from scenario 1, you are correct. But the baby from scenario 2 will be unable to talk. It may understand what is being spoken, but it will not have learned to speak. Research shows that children who are never spoken to will not acquire language. In his book, The Language Instinct, Steven Pinker notes that children speak grammatically correct sentences even before they go to school. This is because they have this innate ability to acquire grammar by listening to what is spoken to them. And yet, somehow language education for adults seem to be doing the exact opposite. Instead of using a conversational approach, you're taught grammar, vocabulary, tenses, and you are sold this idea that the harder you work on your French textbook, that your brain will magically come up with the correct sentence during a real conversation. I studied French in school for three years, and yet when I arrived in France, I could not speak the language or understand what was being said. Think about how you speak your native language. Most of the times, the words flow effortlessly. This is because when you speak the language on a regular basis, your brain does not rely on the rules of grammar. You intuitively know the correct sentence for a given context. In his book, Steven Pinker recalls a funny story of a lady who lands at an airport and asks the taxi driver, can you take me someplace where I can get scrawled? To which he replies, gee, that's the first time I've heard it in pluperfect subjunctive. The point being that most people are not conscious of grammar while speaking their native language. If your goal is to quickly reach a stage where you can carry out a fluent conversation in French, then you need to make a conscious choice to speak the language from day one. It's this idea of using the little French that you know to construct a sentence however wrong it may be. And a very effective way that you can do this is to use an audio language program that teaches you French through a conversational approach. A course that I highly recommend is called Language Transfer. It's 100% free, no strings attached. I'm not trying to sell you anything. You can find the link in the description below. In the course, you join a virtual conversation between a teacher and a student. They start by discussing that there are many similarities between French and English and then proceed to give language challenges where the student is required to translate simple phrases. When the student is asked to translate a phrase, you're meant to pause the playback and translate it by speaking out loud. The reason that I find this method very effective is that there are similarities with the way you learned your first language as a baby. Your parents or grandparents probably spoke to you a lot as a baby and you absorbed everything like a sponge. While this ability to absorb a language goes down after puberty, this is still the most effective way to learn a language. Some of the most fluent learners of French that I know have never been to language school. Instead, they relied on learning by the ear. And here's an interesting fact, musicians find it easier to learn a language because they are already used to listening and interpreting sounds. If you are interested in reading more on this topic, I've linked some articles in the description below. The second reason this is effective is because the course is 100% audio. This means you don't have to sit down in a place to read or write. I completed the audio program during my workout session and this was great because I was completing my PhD and I did not have a lot of time outside of work. Once you complete this program, you will be armed with a template of phrases that you can use in common scenarios. You will know what to say, but you may still have trouble understanding native speakers. This is when you enter the next phase of language learning, which is to find people to talk to. Here's the hard truth. The only way you're going to reach fluency is by talking to people in French. You could reach the highest score on Duolingo or watch 100 French movies with subtitles, but you will never reach fluency if you don't talk to people. I admit that finding people to talk to can be hard even if you live in France. Most people are not patient enough to converse with someone speaking broken French and you will have a tendency to revert back to English even with your French friends because they are keen to improve their English. Hiring tutors can be expensive as they can charge up to 30 euros for a single session. As a solution to this problem, I found an online language learning website called Lingola. In this course, you will join a live classroom with a few students and a native speaker who will push you to interact in French. You're free to make mistakes as you will be corrected and this is where I think the true learning happens as eventually through trial and error you will start forming the correct sentences. This is the way children learn the first language. Your brain will also develop a year for the language as you will have to actively listen to what is being said and the teacher will talk to you slowly in French 
in a way that you can understand. Now, you might be worried that this course could be expensive, but what if I told you that this course could cost you next to nothing? They have this program called Lingola Super Sprint, where you have to attend a lesson each day over the course of two to three months. And if you attend all the classes, they will reward you by giving your money back. So you have to pay initially to secure your spot. But if you have 100% attendance, they will refund your entire fee, except for the initial deposit of 49 euros. I have linked the rules in the description below. Sometimes the program even offers a discount of 40% on the initial deposit. So you end up paying even less. The program is well structured with lessons based on your language level, for example, A2 or B1. And this can be determined by taking a test on the website. And I'm confident that if you complete a single session of the French Super Sprint, you will reach a basic level of conversational fluency. But if you complete multiple Super Sprints, then you will reach a level of fluency that will surprise your friends and family. The program happens in cohorts. So if you miss the deadline, you will have to wait for the next one to sign up. In summary, it should take you a little less than a month to complete the language transfer French course. You then complete three back-to-back -back cohorts of the Lingoda Super Sprint, which should take you around six to nine months. By the end of this time, you would have spent over 200 hours reading, writing, but most importantly, speaking in French with native people. And this should give you a level of conversational fluency that most people would take years to attain. So this is my method to learn French in six months. Language transfer and Lingoda offer similar programs for other languages, so you can use the same technique for these other languages. If you know other effective ways of learning French, please do leave them in the comments below. All the best on your language learning journey. If you like this video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. You can find the link. You can find or watch a hundred movies, hundred French movies. You could reach the highest score on Duolingo